In this Freshtest tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up your Freshtest account for your business from the beginner and step-by-step -step process of it. So if you have not signed up for a free 14-day trial for Freshtest, you can actually sign up at my link over here. And I've been a user for Freshtest for the past four years, and it has been helping me to automate a lot of my business processes. And I've also tried out Zendesk as well. And the reasons that I pick Freshtest is because it is a much cheaper option, but it also offers a lot of great functions for what I need. So um, if that you have not signed up for a free account, go to the link over here or the description box down below, and let's get started. So once you go over to the link, you just need to input your email as well as your company name, and then you will receive a verification from Freshdesk, something like this to activate your account. So it is actually sent by Freshwork, which is um, the main main uh, product by uh, main product by Freshworks is actually the Freshdesk. Okay. So once I click to activate, they will actually said that you can create your custom made your own fresh test address so my company name is more called amazing academy so that's why i'm just going to use the amazing academy uh, dot fresh .com. so this is the url that all of your members and your team is going to sign in so next let us just continue to set up so the setup is pretty easy you can input your email addresses so my email is hello at junlo.co you can invite your team or you can do it later on also no problem you can add few emails at one go so let me just add two emails all right so of course you can do it later on as well so after that you will bring the support email into your fresh desk so what do i us mean by support emails so perhaps when you are dealing with your customer service you have the main emails or few emails perhaps you will like you have like few businesses and you want to only use this help desk fresh desk to answer them all so what you need to do is just to import start importing all the emails and make sure those emails are being forwarded forwarded to the fresh desk so they are actually uh, three ways to do it. So the first way is that you can either sign into your email provider to connect it, or you can actually use this email that they have created for you. And all the emails sent to this email will then become a ticket in Freshdesk. So I personally, I prefer using this method. So I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to set up an auto forwarder um, to show you guys very simple. So let me just copy this. And now I just copy it and click the button, use this email. So after you've done that, so what you need to do is that your trial account is already activated and all the emails, you just need to make sure all the emails from the incoming inbox, you want to forward to this uh, fresh test instead, this email. So let me just copy that. I'm just going to show you guys how I set up in my Gmail later on, okay? So let's click on start using fresh test. So you can select an industry. So basically, I'm just going to select anything, okay? <laughs> and click personalize. So they have few tickets just to show you how to automate it. And don't worry, I'm going to walk you through the entire process. So let us get started by starting to forward all the tickets to the email that Freshdesk provided me just now. So my main customer service inbox that I receive emails from clients is actually from Gmail. So what you need to do is that you can log into your Gmail and then I want you to look at the right hand side that is a gear button in your Gmail. When you click on it, it will actually show this and I want you to click see all settings. Okay, so I want you to for go over to forwarding and pop and IMAP what I'm inc including here. Remember just now, I wanted to keep a forward a copy of emails um, to the email. So let me just click add a forwarding email. So just now, Freshdesk and Freshwork have pro has provided me an email addresses, which is support at amazingacademy.freshdesk.com. So they tells me whatever tickets of my incoming clients, I want it to actually forward to this Freshdesk designated email address. So which means whichever emails that is being coming in, it will be forwarded to there and it will then be creating a ticket as part of the ticket inside my Freshdesk. Does it make sense? So um, you just need to input the email address here and click next. So for, of course, of course uh, there will be like confirmation forwarding. Make sure that you want to pre click proceed to ensure that the email will be forwarding to the fresh test. And a confirmation link has been sent to this.com to verify the permission. So let us click OK. 
And now I want you to come back to your fresh test, right? Remember just now I customized my name to amazingacademy.freshtest.com. So as you can see here, that is a confirmation from fresh test that is Gmail forwarding confirmation. And let's just click on that. And there are two things. One thing that is important is that it actually gives you a confirmation code uh, to be forwarding the ticket. Okay, so let us just copy this confirmation code that appeared in your fresh test. Okay, just go back to your fresh test uh, URL. Okay, and then go over back to the uh, forwarding. As you can see, verify support confirmation code. And all you need to do is just to paste this confirmation code that you receive it and click verify. So once you have done that, so it will say that you have verified the following uh, forwarding address for this address, but now you need to add a forwarding address, right? So let us just click the forwarding address again. So we want to make sure that go over to forwarding, you need to forward a copy to this fresh desk, okay? Once you have done, you can just click save changes. So now it says that you are forwarding your emails to the support um, at amazingacademyfreshtest.com. So when this appear, we know that we are doing it correctly. But let us just test it one round, okay? So now I'm just going to use my another email to send an email to this. Um, supposedly, clients are going to send emails to here. And I'm just going to test if this will create a ticket in Freshtest. Okay? So let me just hit the send. As you guys can see in my Gmail, I have already received this email. So now let us just go back to our fresh desk. Okay. So yes, and this ticket appear. Um, so it means that you have created successfully. So depending on how many inboxes, email inboxes that you have, if you have another email from um, your domain name with your domain name, what you can do is that you can set the forwarder in your control panel of your email web mail. Right? So uh, for that, if let's say you're unsure, you can always ask your email uh, service provider regarding that. So, but adding the forwarding ticket is so simple. So let us now, uh, I'm just going to introduce all the uh, menu bar to you so that you know what to do. So now, if you know that this is the ticket they're receiving, not to worry, there are a few things that is very easily to use. So the first thing is that if let's say you want to reply to this ticket, you can click on reply. Okay. And you can send out any replies that you want. Okay, and what is the differences between reply and add notes? Okay, add notes is only available when you want to talk to your internal team members. Whatever notes that you are adding here is not going to be sent to your clients. All right, when you want to reply to your clients, just hit on reply. Okay, when you want to talk to your internal team members, only internal team, it will say that when you when I click add notes, it will show that it's private. You can then send to another team members. So my NRT member is this account. So um, I can send a note to them. It's a personal note. Don't worry. When you're adding this note, your clients will not be notified. And then this user account, okay, will actually get a notification in their email to tell them that, hey, your team member actually left you a note, okay? This is uh, simple and straightforward. This is forwarding ticket. This is where you want to close this ticket, okay? Uh, meaning you have already resolved and closed this ticket. Okay, merge ticket, it's useful when you want to merge to maybe your clients have sent you five different emails. And when it comes to your fresh desk, it has created about five different tickets. It's annoying, right? And that's where the customer service want to be able to merge the tickets uh, for a few different tickets of the similar nature together. Like for example, um, now perhaps I only appear as once because I sent out an email. So what you can do is that you can merge an email by looking out for their contacts, uh, from their emails or from, a, another freshest ID. Okay. So maybe the ID let's just merge with the ticket number eight. I know that there is a ticket number eight, so it's a related topic. You can just input the ticket ID. Where does this ticket ID available is available at the top right here. Okay. Or you can check out your URL. At the back here, it will show a ticket number. So this is the functionality of the merging ticket. Okay. So once you have merged, you can just type here. You want to select this ticket. These two tickets are merged together and you click continue and click merge. Okay. And obviously that is a delete ticket, but I absolutely uh, will encourage you not to use this ticket. So you want to maintain 
all the tickets so that not anyone in your company can simply ticket, delete tickets from your fresh desk, so, so, which is very important. So now I'm just going to walk you through what are these um, options available and how is it going to help you. So you have this first response deal. Okay, for this, you it's more like an internal SOP to ensure that all the customer service representative reply to the client as soon as possible. So by default, it actually have a first response deal, but this you can actually change it in the settings later on. And also resolution deal. So when this ticket needs to be resolved, also this can be part of the settings inside a, the settings. I'm just going to show you guys in the next video then, okay? And you can add tags, like maybe this tag is about account creation. It's actually about account. You can create a tag directly. It's just like a hashtag in Instagram or hashtag in Twitter for them to um, allocate all the tickets within the same nature together and it's very convenient especially you want to look for a uh, ticket of similar nature in the future you can just add the tag ticket okay and a type don't worry all this can be customized so you can have different types like maybe this is um, related to finance this is related to uh you know customer service another is related to operation another is related to technical so all the type you can customize it i'm just going to show you guys later on and you can even customize the status i would suggest you uh, do not create too many status that they actually confuse your team members on how to use the fresh test but limited the status in fresh test to fill five or six that it's clearly defined to everyone so that everyone know what status to pick in the fresh test okay you can also pick priority in the fresh test as well so uh group um is is just another different layer than tax so basically how i use it is that i actually use groups uh especially groups is very useful when they are let's say there are five members in your fresh desk and fresh work account but maybe one of them they are account related and you don't want other four other team members to see the account stuff right that is only the accountant need to be able to see the account stuff so that's why you want to group the ticket where if this is you tag it it's related to billing it's related to account which means all other members who are not within this group they can't actually see the ticket okay not to worry i'm just going to do a general introduction to you guys so that you guys know what are these functions available you may not necessarily need to use them all and i'm just going to show you guys very detailed in the next video how to set all this up it is very very simple okay i assure you that <laughs> i i actually learned so much uh, i've been using it for past five years it is absolutely useful you just need to set up once and just go through my tutorials and also remember to sign up through my link uh, at the bottom down below okay in the description box if you find it useful so the agent will be the team members so right now i have not added any of my team members so that's why it's nothing here to be selected okay so a uh, reference id if there's any okay now once you have done that you can just click update okay so um basically these are in each ticket on the right hand side is more about categories of this ticket it has to be resolved or is it still open so uh or is it still pending on some other sites right if you want to see what are the updates of this ticket and who actually make changes on this ticket this is super transparent in fresh test you can actually click show activities inside of show activities it will say it's like hey because gmail team sent you a email and june me added a private note just now and then i also uh merge a ticket and I also added the text and set it as a group. So this, all this history is very important so that no one, it's very transparent in fresh test and no one can actually edit your ticket status, okay? So this is the introduction about the ticket and how to add your support, um, support email inside the fresh desk. And next, in my next tutorial, which you are going to watch it in this playlist next, I'm just going to show you guys how to set up the settings in terms of adding teams, as well as, uh, you know, um, customize the groups, business hours, and all those different detail settings in fresh desk. So if let's say you have been loving this video and this video tutorial helps you to understand how to set up the fresh desk easier, uh, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for even more tools and also join my Facebook group at www.amazingstory.co and watch my next video on how to set all this up in this fresh desk playlist. And I'll see you inside the tutorial then. Take care.